First, I want to start with my mom and dad and all the sacrifices they made that I would get a good education. They understood Sir Winston Churchill when he said you make a living by what you get, you make a life by what you give. They gave, they provided for me and my brother. It was very important to them because each one of them had only had an eighth grade graduation. Today I want to say thanks to the Board of Education that employed me in 1961. They provided me with an opportunity to be a part of one of the best school districts in this state. They provided me an opportunity to live in one of the most beautiful cities in our nation. I want to thank Maxine and Norma for being my secretary during those 28 years. I want to thank the chamber for permitting me to be a common horse since 1962. Wow. It's a chance to honor our scholars and our athletes, a chance to say thanks to our firemen, to the I've forgotten something. Our lifeguards. And then also to enjoy the beautiful aspects of the little fun that we used to have on the building those little pyramids and things on the beach. Had the taste of Newport and the parade of lights. I want to thank the School Foundation for permitting me 20 years of serving with you on your teacher grant program. I especially want to thank those past recipients for permitting me the highest honor of being one of you. You have made me a proud man, and I shall forever be thankful. I want to thank my family for their support and understanding. I want to thank all of you for showing up this evening because you have truly made me a special night. I want to especially thank all the sponsors for this possible that we could have this evening. And as Rush had said before, I truly want to thank the men and women in the armed services. And let us never forget those who have made that supreme sacrifice so that we today can have our freedoms and our liberties. But above all, enjoy the beauty of America. Thank you.